Jeff Hagee Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. Today, what I want to talk about is the importance of being able to do hard things if you want to be successful. But before I get into that, I, a couple things I want to talk about. First of all, thank you for being with me. You know, back in April of 2020, when I started this, I had no idea where I was going with it. This is my 189th episode. I had no idea that I'd be doing that, but it's been awesome. Love the feedback and things that I've learned throughout the process of this and the people I've met because of this. But thank you for being with me and, you know, just really appreciate it. So talking about, you know, the last while, I've talked a lot about goal setting and getting ready for 2021. And, you know, obviously, it wasn't, nothing magic happened on New Year's Eve that erased 2020 and all the problems that came with that. But there's still a lot of opportunity to be had in 2021. And it was kind of an opportunity just to, okay, let's take a look at things, start fresh and let's hit this year running. But in the process, I had a lot of opportunity to talk with people and help them strategize and figure out what their goals were for 2021. And since the first, um, you know, it's only been a couple days, but I've talked to some more people, you know, do you want to go through a strategy session? Well, I already missed the first of the year and they're giving up on their goals and they haven't even figured them out for the year yet. You know, there's still time. Let's figure these things out. Let's get some goals set and really find a, some clarity and direction to help you get going on the year. So that offer is still available. If you want to have a personal one-on-one -on -one free strategy session that I'll go through the same things I go through the goal setting masterclass and we'll help you set some goals, get some clarity and really get started on 2021. Just send me a DM or email me at jeff at jeffhagey.com and we'll get that set up. But, you know, as I talk to people about their goals, people get excited and set some big goals and then they retract and they're like, no, I don't wanna go that big. I need to pull back a little bit. And I wanna talk about setting goals big and why you need to do that because I think one thing is people don't realize what they are capable of. But when I talked earlier about doing hard things, let me start with a story. So last year with my high school basketball team that I coached, you know, we're, my coaching philosophy is you've got to be in really good shape because we do a lot of running and, and whatnot. So this one practice, my, my team was used to having practices where we had run quite a bit. and. At the very beginning of practice, I started them off with five up and back. So just to the end of the gym and back is one. Do that five times. And then I just would go into practice and quite often I'd stop and say, okay, five up and backs or three up and backs or something. And I was doing it quite often. What they didn't realize at the end of practice, I finished, I think it was finished off with five up and backs. And when they came back, I ended practice and sat him down. And I said, do you guys have any idea how many up and backs you did? And they knew they had done a lot, obviously, but they didn't have an idea of how many they actually did. And they had done 101 up and backs. And I can't remember at the time I figured out, you know, I think the gym's 93 feet long. So however, however far that is, they did a lot of running that day and they were pushing themselves. Why did I do that? One, does it help them get in shape? Yeah, it does. But that's not the reason I was doing it. I was doing it for the mental part of it because one, whether it's last year during basketball season, they knew they had accomplished something like that or any time in their life, they knew they had done something really hard. If I would have, if they would have walked into the beginning of practice and I said, we're going to do 100, 101 up and backs today. Maybe I would have had some of them walk out of the gym or I would have had some injuries. They didn't, couldn't complete that day, whatever it was. It wouldn't have been the same scenario. But the fact is, that's something that a lot of people wouldn't, wouldn't want to even attempt, Never mind, do it. But it's something that they have done now, that they can't, you can't take that away from them. When they talk about that now, yeah, you wouldn't want to say, okay, let's go do 101 up and backs but it's something they're proud of, that they're proud that they accomplished that because not many people would do that. And they've done something hard and they know they can accomplish that. So whether it's on the basketball court and know that they can accomplish hard things 
and know when they're in the fourth quarter in a tough game that they were prepared, that they're physically fit, that they can do hard things that they can fight through. Or years later as an adult, they're going through a hard situation and they can reflect back and say, you know what? I kicked out 101 up and back, so I can do hard things. I can do this. Or it's they're setting their goals and they're looking at 2021 setting their goals and thinking that goal's too big. No, it's not. I can do hard things. So that's the reason I want you to think about setting goals that are difficult. So when you do accomplish them, you're able to build upon your momentum and accomplish more goals because of it. And you know what, sometimes those goals, you set them and you don't accomplish them. But you look at where you did end up and it's further ahead than where you normally wanted to set your goal to be comfortable. You've gotta be able to stretch yourself. You've gotta be able to push yourself. You've gotta be able to motivate yourself to go after those hard things. I don't want you to set goals so high that after a couple days you think, I'm never gonna achieve this and you have no more motivation. You have no more why. You don't have a why that's gonna push you to do it, but it's gotta be big enough that it, you know, I posted something on Instagram a few days ago that says your goals have gotta be big enough. They scare you a bit, but they've gotta also give you a lot of excitement. And that's what it's gotta be. Your goals have to excite you, but there's gotta be a little bit of scaredness in there too. And the things that you know about your goals, the purpose you have behind your goals are gonna be the things that push you and help you to go out there every single day. Get up in the morning to be excited. What's your purpose behind it? What's your why? We go through the seven level deep. Why is that one of your goals and why is that important to you? Because that's what's gonna help you get excited about it every day so that you'll do it. You know, I listened to Tim Tebow one time in an interview and he talked about what success was. And he said, success is not having regrets because you didn't try. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to set goals. I want you to achieve all your goals, but most importantly, I want you to try. I want you to set big goals that you really try to achieve. And if you don't hit them, if you miss them, you take a step back, what did you learn? And keep going. Try again, try something new. But, you know, we're off to a start of a new year. I'm excited about it. I appreciate the support I've got with this podcast. Um, you know, like I said, this is episode 189. This wasn't an easy thing to do. I, I record usually the day before the podcast gets released. And there was times that I'd get busy and 11 o'clock at night thinking, I didn't record a podcast today. I don't know what I want to talk about. It would have been a lot easier to think, you know, not a lot of people listening. They don't need to worry about tomorrow's episode. But knowing that I did it every single day and got through 188 episodes up to the end of the year is something that's helped me to know I can do that, that I can educate myself, that I can talk about the things that I want to help people with, that I want to help you to get to the next level. And every time you look at yourself, reflect back, reflect back on 2020. What did you accomplish in 2020? You know, it might... You might look at 2020 as what a terrible year is, pandemic is all these different things. But look back, I bet you there's a lot of great things that you accomplished. And rather than looking at the negative and all the bad that happened, look at the things you did do. I had, yeah, I had a lot of things that in 2020 happened that I wish I hadn't had to go through. But my focus is on the accomplishments that I have. How can I grow upon them and what can I learn from my accomplishments and my failures to make 2021 even better. And, you know, this is easy to say. I'll I'll tell you, when I was sitting down to set my goals for 2021, one of my goals, after I got everything completed, I did my, my vision, I did my clarity, I did my seven levels deep. I looked at it and thought, I think I need to pull that back a bit. That's what I'm telling you not to do. And I did, I pulled it back and then I started thinking about it more and thought, this is exactly what I'm telling my clients not to do. And so I put it back where I had originally had it. And that's a goal I intend to achieve. And that's what I wanna help you with. So if you haven't set your goals yet, 
if you want to get some clarity and figure out what your goals are, how you're going to achieve them, the purpose behind them, and all those things, just send me a DM or email me at jeff at jeffhagey.com. We'll go through a free strategy session. We'll set you up and get you going and set for 2021. And I'll do everything I can to help make sure that you're in a position that you're going to get out there and achieve those goals and have a great year. So I'm excited about 2021. Um, there's a lot of unknowns in my immediate future right now that could be really scary, but I'm excited about them. So glad to have you along this journey with me. I've got a lot of things that over the next while I'm going to be sharing some experiences that hopefully are going to be learning experiences for all of us that you'll be able to look at some of the good things that have happened for me, some of the bad things that have happened and we can all learn from them. But I want to share that journey with you and hopefully we'll all grow from it and hopefully we'll be able to just make this an incredible year regardless of what's happening around us. But thanks for being with me again. Hopefully I, I ask you that you share this with someone else because I really appreciate when, when you do that for me. Um, I like to grow this tribe, but want to do things to help separate yourself from your competition. And that's my goal this year is to help you do that. So thanks for being with me and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.